Here we come with another quick and easy video tutorial on how to make a simple scatter plot in Excel, which is useful if you want to make a visual representation of a relationship between two separate sets of data. Let's have a look at how to do that. Hello, and welcome to Excel Made Easy. Together, we're here to make sure you'll be able to use Excel in a quick and easy way, thanks to our digestible video tutorials. In Excel, there are various types of charts available to visually display collected data. In previous video tutorials, we had a look at how to create a line graph or a bar chart. Here we'll focus on the scatter plot, which we'll use to show the relationship between cost and profit. Before we get started though, it's essential to point out a couple of important details. First, it's crucial to realize that unlike other chart types, the scatter plot standardly works with numbers. The X as well as Y axis will consist of numerical data only. Then it's good to know that well-prepared data within a clear table can be of great help. Because when you simply select two columns with values to be used in the plot, the column on the left will appear on the horizontal x-axis, and the column on the right will be displayed on the vertical y-axis. Therefore, take your time and make sure to organize the collected data within a table with great care. Once a clear data table has been prepared and we've selected the values to be used in the chart, we can insert the scatter plot in several easy clicks. Go to the Insert tab, find Charts in the option Scatter. Click on it. There are numerous possibilities to choose from. We'll use this simple scatter plot, the first one at hand. Excel will create the scatter plot and insert it within the area of the sheet. Just as we mentioned a while ago, the values from the column on the left, cost, are on the x-axis, and the data from column on the right, profit, show on the y-axis. The dots we see in the plot are the points where the values for cost and profit intersect on the x and y-axis. For example, this point here shows the cost-profit relationship for the product A, where the cost value is 400 and the profit value 100. The scatter plot is great for a visual representation of a relationship between any sets of data. Let's have a closer look now at several possibilities how we can modify the plot to achieve the result we need. The position of the chart in the sheet can easily be adjusted just by clicking anywhere into the empty space of the chart area. Holding the left mouse button and dragging the whole chart wherever in the sheet you need. To change the size of the chart, click on any corner of the chart area and adjust the size by dragging one of the empty circles. And if you click on the chart title, you can change the chart name to any text you want. We'll go for cost-profit relationship here. And let's keep going. If you need to choose a suitable color or chart style, click on the empty space in the chart area again. Go to the chart design tab and through the button change colors. You can choose a color to your liking, whichever you need. To change the chart style, stay in the chart design tab, chart styles and click on this arrow pointing downwards. You'll see different plot styles you can select from. Pick the one that best suits your needs. Now one more thing to remember. The plot is dynamic, which means that when you rewrite any value within the data table, the change gets automatically reflected in the plot. Let's say we'll take the value 400 for the product E and rewrite it to 150 instead. You can see that the position of the point for the product E in the plot has changed too. If you're curious to know when to use and how to create other chart types or how to modify these charts, you can find it all in our Excel Made Easy tutorials. Thank you for watching. Be sure to click the like and subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.